Picture this, a world where the villain is right. Yes, you heard it correctly. Imagine Sher Khan, the fierce tiger from the beloved tale The Jungle Book, being the misunderstood hero rather than the villain. Sher Khan's initial intention? To eliminate Mowgli, the man-cub, from the jungle. A cruel act, one might think. Yet he does so not out of hatred but rather adherence to the law of the jungle that forbids mankind's presence. A law, he believes, the wolves are breaking by raising Mowgli. Sher Khan, the law enforcer, reminds his fellow jungle dwellers, a man-cub becomes man, and man is forbidden. A decree rooted in the fear of the red flower or fire, which man brings and consequently destroys all in its path. This law doesn't just protect the jungle from man, but also prevents jungle animals from encroaching into human territory or preying on their livestock. Sher Khan's fear is not unfounded. He carries the scars of the red flower, a painful reminder of his encounter with humans trespassing his territory, a clear violation of the jungle law. His objective? To prevent Mowgli from growing into a man who would potentially unleash the destructive red flower upon the jungle. In the midst of a drought, Sher Khan adheres to the law, refraining from killing, allowing safe access to water for all. Meanwhile, Mowgli, raised on the principles of the jungle law, chooses to defy it. Instead of leaving for the human village, he does the unthinkable, he brings the red flower to the jungle to use as a weapon. As Sher Khan had anticipated, Mowgli's actions lead to a massive forest fire, causing destruction and chaos. The fire engulfs everything, causing death, loss of homes, food and families for the innocent jungle dwellers. The complete annihilation of the jungle is averted only by the elephants diverting the river to put out the fire. Yet, in this tale, Sher Khan is painted as the villain and Mowgli the hero. In conclusion, Sher Khan, the so-called villain of the Jungle Book, was in fact right. He acted not out of malice, but from a place of adherence to the law of the jungle, a law intended to protect both humans and animals. His fears about Mowgli and the Red Flower were not unfounded, but rather prophetic. Mowgli, despite being raised on the principles of the jungle law, chose to defy them, causing widespread destruction. Yet he is hailed as the hero while Sher Khan is vilified. This narrative invites us to question the conventional definitions of heroes and villains, as sometimes the villain might just be the one with the right motives.